Hi, I'm Dr. Angela, and I'm a doctor of audiology and a specialist in auditory processing disorder. What professional tests for APD? Well, APD can only be diagnosed by a specialized audiologist. APD screening can pr be performed by psychologists, audiologists, SLPs, educational specialists, and other allied health professionals. But a diagnosis can only come from a specialized audiologist. Audiologists have to be the one to test for APD or auditory processing disorder because we are trained to do hearing testing because APD can look like a hearing loss and even occur alongside hearing loss. Wait, what? You can have hearing loss and APD? Yup. So before any APD testing can take place, a person has to have a full diagnostic hearing test that checks their hearing sensitivity. How is a standard hearing test different from an APD assessment? Well, have you ever had a hearing test where you sit in a booth and every time you hear a beep, you raise your hand or push a button? That test is checking to see how quietly you hear each pitch. It's checking your hearing sensitivity. Now, speech and the auditory skills required for listening are far more complex than what that test can tell us. So specialized audiologists have to look at performance on a battery of tests, more than one test, to see how a person's auditory processing compares to other people their age. In our clinic, the APD test battery is approximately one hour long, but clients are often quite tired by the end of the test. It's hard work. Currently, not all audiologists are equipped to test or screen auditory processing abilities. In fact, less than 400 specialized auditory processing disorder audiologists worldwide are listed on our online searchable map. Here's that website. If conservative estimates are correct, then more than 300 million people in the world may have APD. So those 400 audiologists are pretty freaking busy. If you're not, if you're doing this work, but you're not listed on your map yet, hit me up because we've got work to do. And we wanna make sure that all of your clients can find you. There was an old school belief that we shouldn't be able to test before seven years of age because some tests didn't have data for children younger than seven. And there can be more variability in their scores below this age and their systems aren't fully mature by then. However, we should never wait until a system is mature to help it develop. Most APD specialized audiologists are working to identify children earlier than that, the help they need as soon as possible. So what happens after a diagnosis? Well, the best kind of auditory processing testing also includes a plan to treat the auditory skills that were difficult during testing. Multiple treatment avenues are available and more are being developed all the time. Treatment should always start with what we can improve in the brain through evidence-based practice. Devices can also be trialed that bring a teacher's voice directly to the child's ear, called a remote microphone hearing aid. This was previously known as an FM device, or and also low-gain hearing aids can be fit by audiologists. Don't buy these through the mail though, because we need to be certain that the sound levels going into the child's ears are not dangerous. Regardless of what route a person takes, we need to monitor how they are doing and ensure their auditory skills improve. This diagnosis should be more about a plan of action than a lifelong difficulty. And I hope you find a clinician who is ready to walk that journey with you. Thanks for listening.